Good morning. It is the day after Christmas. Um, started with a lazy morning, just trying to recoup. We had a ton of fun visiting family and such. But we did get a little bit of snow. We woke up to well, maybe four inches or something like that. So today we need to get the cutting edge on the plow. It is time to use it. So that needs to go on the plow ASAP. Got my impact and hopefully it really shouldn't be too hard. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like outside. Let's see here. Is that a good view? Maybe kind of a kind of heavy wet snow. So the plan is to get the plow blade on, do a little plowing and then I have to run off to the dumps first day they're open you know, in a, in a little while and they won't be open again until after New Year. So we just got to get rid of a couple trash bags and such. So let's get started with uh, the cutting edge and on we go. Got a little bit of mud on there from the first plow a little while ago. It was pretty, pretty, um, Pretty warm still, so I picked up a lot of gravel and muck, but that's okay. Let's find out what these bolts look like on the back side. But we'll try and just bust them off of there with the uh, with the impact. I'm totally fine if they break. That won't bother me. We really caught this just in time, so you can actually see this bolt is worn flat. That's because the cutting edge is completely worn out. And we didn't hurt we might have hurt it a little bit, but we didn't hurt the trip edge of the plow. This structural piece itself seems like it's still good. Uh, maybe down there it's a little more worn than I'd like it to be, but whatever. We made it. And we didn't wear these off. We did hit them a bit. These are the overrider spring mounts, um, but they're okay. So that's good news. Let's get started. Pop these off. Figure out what size bolt that is and get the impact going. sixteenths is immediately rounded off. So that's nice. Even though it fit perfectly. Yeah, it's definitely an eleven sixteenths. Let's see if the seventeen right here. Maybe I can do something with the seventeen. Try the breaker bar instead. take broken as long as it comes out. <laughs> Pretty gnarly, but I'm going to try and break the rest. If they're that rusty, 
I'm just gonna try and break them instead of using the impact because it's probably a better chance of success to just bust them off. Foot power. I think that one spun. Yeah. See about that 17. Fits barely. Good. That one's out. Broken again, which is fine by me. Jeez, man, that is stuck in there. And so what's left? This one over here is basically gone. So oops, that might have to be a grinder because I don't think I'm really gonna have any opportunity to do anything with that. But let's keep moving our way down. There's uh, seven of these. So hopefully we can achieve something here, which would be ideal. All right, let's see if I can't get this out of here. Hey, <laughs> we got it. She went flying. All right, where was I? On to the next busted bolt. See if we can't get it. This one seems like it might round off even with the 17. Yep, There's nothing left. Have to get a smaller size. See about this one down here. That one might need the 11 sixteenths to get it started. Yep. Let's see if we can't make that do something. I think it's going perfect. It doesn't want to come out. There it is. On to the next. Way down there. That looks like it's definitely going to be the 11 16 so I don't see it being too rusted. I think these were even bigger than 11 16 originally, but that's the size they are now. Get this foot out of the way. Precision instrument.
a new problem. Uh oh. <laughs> See that? Haven't run into that before. So, I don't think that's gonna stop. It's gonna spin around like a Looney Tune. So we're either gonna have to weld it on there or grind it off. Great. What about this last one? It's mostly worn off like the other. Pretty flattened out. 17 is nowhere near it. So I think these last few, what is it, four of them? We'll have to take the grinder too. So we got three out of seven. It's not bad. Time to find the grinder. Um, I think Dad brought it back. I believe it's in the basement, but we'll uh, we'll go find out in a moment. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So the other grinder, of course, is down at the bus over at Dad's house. Um, I do have this here, which is just a six-inch grinder, but I have a flappy disc on it. I was using it to get paint off of old floors. I believe it's a 25 grit flappy. Obviously not what this is intended for, but we're gonna see if it's gonna work so I don't have to make the drive. And better yet, we have safety glasses. Woohoo! Let's give it a shot. success so let's get the next two I am noticing a problem though and yeah, these are carriage bolts so obviously there's a square there and the hole behind it is um, most definitely round. So probably we're gonna pry off the cutting edge itself this way and then we're gonna have to grind some more to get those to go back through the structural part of the plow. All right, so it was those two and then there's two more, right? Over here. Definitely the end one, we know about that. This one. So this one here and the end. Let's get those off now. over to that. All right, guys. Next, we gotta see about popping, popping these out. So let's see if we can do that.
gonna need a punch. There's that. On to the next. Perfect. Next. All right, now, can we get this off? What do you think? I might need a pry bar. Let's go get a pry bar. So there you have it guys. That is the difference in thickness. We lost a lot. Wow. So like I thought, see these carriage bolts here? Maybe an issue. I'll tell you right now, it's definitely an issue. So we gotta grind those off. There's no way that square bolt is going through these round holes. So, back to the grinder we go. All right, guys, we're ready for the new cutting edge. Just need to do a quick sweep and uh, get some of the dirt out of there. We did wear this down a little on the edges. Oops, you can see it's not straight there, but luckily we didn't get all the way to the holes. So I have no idea how old this plow is. It's gotta be over 10 years. I think Curtis went out of business in 2011. I don't know, somebody tell me. But um, I should give you a little bit of a tour here, so I will. I love this plow because even though it's a Curtis, which is known for their hitch and run system, these big hooks allow you to kind of pull up to the plow and use leverage to slide the plow up into place onto its mounts and then these pins lock in. Uh, it's, it's a pretty brilliant system. And also they have a hydraulic foot that comes down, unlike Fisher, which has um, a manual foot. Now, the good thing about Fisher is they've always had this style of trip edge where just the bottom of the plow moves. Curtis for years had the trip edge where the whole plow would tilt and it's just garbage on dirt. You can't, it always cuts in. And when it comes back, there's just so much motion and it's just terrible. And right before Curtis went out of business, they finally figured out how to do this system. Maybe it was a patent issue. I'm not really sure. But it's not the same as Fisher, but it's the same basic idea. Just the bottom of the plow is the trip edge, and it's using springs here. So only this part moves, which is awesome. 
So I love this plow. I got it super cheap because again, it's a Curtis. It costs a lot less than a Fisher, uh, but it's, it's built just as strong and I'm really happy with it. So it's a Curtis eight footer and uh, yeah, let's get it fixed up. The only reason I'm getting off is because I don't have a knife in my pocket right now. And I don't feel like going back inside to get one. I actually don't know where this giant screw came from that I'm holding. Not really sure. But. Aha! Nice. Oops. Heavy. Ah. All right, so let's get these open. And probably need the center two, I guess, to get it to stick up on here. As far as I can tell, this is symmetrical. So I'm going to put the stickers facing in. That way they just sit there and disintegrate slower. Otherwise, falling off into the environment would be less ideal, I guess. It's going to happen either way, but I'm not going to sit there and try and peel these stickers off. Okay. Bolt holes. One. Two. Look at that. What a beauty. What size are these? I think they're gonna be a three quarters, my guess. But I have my 11 sixteenths here. Yep, too small. So, is three quarter the winner? It is indeed. All right, let's get these started. One. Two, six. Oh, the last one. Makes you every step. Seven. All right, well guys, we did it. It's on, it's a piece of beauty. And should be able to break it in nicely on this here because we have this layer of icy garbage from yesterday underneath the fluffy snow from last night. So I'm gonna leave the feet off for the pavement and we'll see what sort of mess we can make out of this driveway. So on we go.
Well, guys, it's really cool to have a new cutting edge. That thing digs right down to the pavement. And uh, just with some careful hydraulics, we're able to just kind of skim the top of the lawn here. I think I'll probably head out to the barn with the feet on, though. I don't want to... It's getting so warm today. This was all frozen, and it's already turning to slush, so... Um, but yeah, guys, so the plow's fixed. You can see from this angle what a cutting edge we have. Amazing. So I'll uh, finish just some hand shoveling right here and throw the feet on and head out to the barn. Anyway, hopefully we'll get some bigger storms this year and we can have some more fun. Like always, thanks for watching. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. We could really use that support and... Um, on we go. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Well, the cameras weren't rolling, guys. Sorry about that, but I did a shenanigans. But we got out. Didn't need a tow or anything. So that's good. It's my fault. It's plowing along this way. And I got into this downhill bit here, which is muddy. You know, I forgot that I brought my gravel that way. So that was dumb but uh i think i'll put a little snowbank right here to kind of keep that from happening in the uh rest of the winter but it was a whole lot of left right up down lots of rpms but uh got turned around right here without getting buried and i don't know once again the camera never does it justice but this is these are some big holes <laughs> So, oopsie-daisy, but we're out. So, on we go.